Uh, hello, everybody. So today I will present you um, a sample that I've made uh, about the uh, present uh, API. Uh, just a few words about me before. My name is Eva Barsat. Uh, I'm working at SWORD Group as a consultant, so I'm doing a lot of different things regarding to Microsoft 365, Azure, Dynamics 365, and also a Port Platform. I'm living in Switzerland. Uh, I'm a Microsoft MVP, M365 development, and uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Certificate Trainer also. So feel free to reach me out on my social and website if you have any question or query uh, to ask. So for today, I will talk about Microsoft Graph Presence API. Actually, you have a V1 endpoint, but for this sample, uh, I took the beta endpoint sorry, uh, to have a larger wide of uh, capabilities. And all these API are related to the user's presence. Uh, for example, you have capabilities like you can get the user's presence, you can uh, set the user's presence, you can clear the user's presence, set a status message, and also uh, you can track you can track the user's presence uh, with a change notification and a little bit more for the available api method you have a wide range of method like uh, to get the presence you can get the presence of multiple users you can set the presence clear the presence uh, you can set and clear the user preferred presence and also set a user status message i've highlighted uh, the concept of session of an application that is really important to understand. And basically, I will describe to you what is it. And basically, to use uh, some of this uh, API method, you need to pass uh, the ID of the present session. And basically, what it means, uh, you can have multiple present sessions uh, that can be active uh, simultaneously. And uh, for specific reasons, like, uh, for example, if you are using uh, multiple Teams client, if you have the web, uh, desktop, and mobile client, but also if you have um, ACE, web part, or any uh, line of business applications that interact with the API. So for this reason, uh, you have the concept of present session, and each session may time out and expire, so the application or whatever, it could be uh, ACE, web part, or whatever, needs to call the API before the expiration in order to keep the session alive. And uh, if you can't keep the session alive, it will reset to the default uh, status state. Sorry. Uh, with SPFX, it's a little bit important to understand because, for example, when you are developing ACE or web part, for example, with uh, SPFX latest version, uh, you, you can use uh, MS Graph Client v3 to connect to Microsoft Graph API. And behind the scene, uh, this MS Graph client v3 implements, uh, as you can, as you might know, Azure AD Outflow, and for the SharePoint Online client extend with this service principal. And basically, behind the scene, uh, the session ID parameter that is required in some method is nothing other than this application uh, ID uh, service principal in Azure AD. This is what you, how it works for SPFX. Uh, just an example of how to set the presence of a user. You have two endpoints, me or users. Uh, in the first, you need to provide the user ID. And the second is for the current user. And as you can see, you have a body. And you have session ID, which is the service principal ID of SharePoint Online. And you have also availability and activity. And all these parameters are a fixed list of combination. You cannot uh, set uh, what you want. It's fixed. It's a fixed list. And you have also an expiration duration. Uh, it's an ISO 86101 uh, format. Default is five minutes, PT 5M. But in, uh, in this example, you see PT 2H uh, 30M, which is two hours and 30 minutes. This is a concrete example of how to set the presence. Uh, and also, if you want to play like, I, like I've done, you can use the Graph Explorer to deal with some uh, endpoints. And uh, it's, it's a great tool if you want to start uh, playing with this API. Now, just a quick demo, because uh, this sample just implements 
a lot of different methods to just show you how it works. So I will switch to my Visual Studio. So here, this is the sample, the latest version, because the first version I've submitted is not really, uh, it's really simple. And in this sample, which will be available as soon as the pull request will be <laughs> approved, uh, will contain a wide range of different uh, capabilities. So I will just show you how it works. So this is the ACE. And basically, you see, you have the status message. And actually, I don't have any status message defined. If I click on this button, you see, you have a, an interface. And I can provide, for example, my status message, which is, for example, hello, m 2 community, like this. I can put a status message expiration. For example, I will choose four hours. And you can set also the availability based on the combinations uh, you can provide. So for example, I will put do not disturb. If I submit now, you see, it's okay. I will close and you see now I have my status message. To prove you that is working, so yes, I'm presenting. And the the status message is really is a good set with uh, a display until uh, tonight. It's really working. And after, uh, for example, you can clear the availability if you want. This will reset my availability to available or your preferred uh, presence uh, status, you see. It's really working, so I'm available now. And you can also just uh, clear the status message to get everything back to the initial state. And I will prove you that everything is okay, you see. No status message, it's okay. So now the code, I will show you a little bit of code now because it's interesting. Uh, I'm playing with two uh, entities. The first is a present status, which represents mm, nothing other than a present session with a session ID, availability, activity, and expiration duration. And the second thing is the status message entity. So you see, I have the message. You have a content and a content type. In my case, which will be text. And you have also the expiry date time, which, uh, which have the date time and the time zone, UTC by default and this kind of stuff. After I have made this little service, which basically expose everything uh, to play with this API. So for example, I have a first method that is called uh, get the current uh, user status message. I'm just getting the status message of the current user through the MS Graph client v3. The second one is you can set the current user status message. I'm just getting a status message and an expiration. And as you can see, I'm just calling this method. And after, based on uh, what I've provided, uh, as choice, I can just uh, put an expiration date. And after I have, you see, this I status message uh, object, which is my request body, and I'm putting my status message and the expiration date, which is in the ISO format. And UTC as a time zone, but if you want, you can provide a different uh, time zone also. Uh, I'm also have a method that just get the current user ID if you need, because some endpoints uh, requires the user ID. So you have this method. And you can also, you see, set the current user availability. So with a set presence. And in this case, I'm just uh, providing uh, a present status. And after, I'm just uh, setting all this, uh, these things to the current user. And the last thing is the get current user session ID. As I told you, you need to request the specific service principle. So you see, you have an endpoint for that application. And I'm just getting the NAP, the app ID of this service principle behind the scene to be able to call correctly uh, all this kind of API. And after, you have also the clear presence. And you see, you also in the clear presence, you need to provide and specify the session ID. It's mandatory to set uh, the presence and to clear the presence. And this is the sample. Uh, basically, I can just show you the quick view because it's really uh, it's really simple, not really uh, advanced. But you see, you have uh, on action method and I'm 
providing everything to call this kind of uh, of API. And basically, uh, you have everything uh, to deal and to interact with in this API. Basically, that's all on my side. And basically, back to you, Hugo. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you.